Okay, in this problem we're going to find the area bounded by these two graphs as x varies from 0 to 1. So let's go ahead and work through this very, very carefully. So this is the y-axis and this here is the x-axis, so x and y. And you could graph this by hand, although it would be um, quite a bit of work. You'd have to maybe take some derivatives and you know use some calculus. Let's take the easy approach and graph this with a calculator. So here is my calculator, calculator. And so to graph stuff, you hit the button that says uh, y equals. Now we have to enter the function. So 3 and then x, that's the variable key right here. And then e is right here where the ln key is. And it's a blue key, so you have to hit second uh, first. So second ln. The negative x squared, so the negative key is down here. And then x, and then exponent key is here, and then 2. So again, uh, if you're not familiar with the calculator, the first thing you do is you go to y equals, and then type everything in, and we're here. OK, then hit graph. Let's see what happens. So this is already really nicely done. So n your calculator might look like this when you graph it. So if it does, what you can do is you can hit zoom and then you can go to zoom in and that will give you a better picture and then hit enter. Okay. All right, and X varies from zero to one. So let me go ahead and, and attempt to, to graph that here on uh, the screen. So it'll look something like this. And then here's one. So basically we just want this region here. Okay, this is the region we want. So to do this by hand, we would do the following. So the area would be the definite integral from 0 to 1 of this function minus this function. Because y equals 0 is down here. It's this horizontal line. So it's top minus bottom. If we draw a rectangle, that's what it would look like. So it would be 3x e to the negative x squared, and then technically minus 0 which is just, you know, the definite integral from 0 to 1, 3x e to the negative x squared dx. So let's go ahead and grind this out by hand, and then I'll show you how to do it in the calculator. So you would make a u substitution. You would let u be equal to negative x squared, and then you would compute du. So du is negative 2x dx. Now, there's a negative 2x here, and there's a, there's a 3x here, so if you multiply both sides by negative 3 halves, you can fix it. Right? What happens is the 2's cancel, so you get negative 3 halves du equals 3x dx, because the negative and the negative become positive. And so now we can make our substitution, right? the 3x dx will be equal to negative 3 halves to u. However, since we have a definite integral, we're supposed to change the limits of integration. So let's go ahead and do that. So when x equals 0, that's the lower limit, you just take the 0 and you plug it into your formula for u. So u equals 0. And then when x equals 1, we have u equals, we'll plug it in here, you get negative 1. So this becomes negative 3 halves integral. So when x was 0, we got 0. When x was 1, we got negative 1. And then e to the u du, let me just check that. So the 3x dx, that became negative 3 halves du, so check. And then we were left with e to, e to the u. And the 0 became a 0, check. And the 1 became a negative 1, checks. When you integrate e to the u, you just get e to the u. So this is negative 3 halves e to the u. And we're going from 0 to negative 1. So first you plug in the negative 1. So we get negative 3 halves bracket e to the negative 1 minus e to the 0. So this is negative 3 halves. e to the negative 1 is 1 over e, 
and then e to the zero is one. So this would be the final answer. Let's type it into the calculator to see what the decimal would be. So to get out of the screen, you hit second quit. So let's see, it would be uh, negative. The negative key is down here. So negative, let me put it in parentheses actually. So how about this? Um, negative parentheses, whoops. Negative parentheses, three over two parentheses times, and then parentheses, one divided by E. E is right here where the division sign is, so second division sign. Because if you use this one, it gives you the uh, exponent already. If you use the one by the division sign, it just gives you the letter E. It gives you the number E. And then minus one. And then enter. So this is 0.948 is the answer. So that would be the final answer to this problem. I'm going to show you another way to do this. This is even better. Um, watch this. If you go back to graph and you hit the, I believe it's, yeah, this blue key here called calc. So hit second calc and then go down to the number seven and then press enter one time and it says lower limit well our lower limit initially was zero so zero then hit enter upper limit our upper limit is one so one enter boom there it is not only does it give you the answer it shades it in for you so but it's it's worth uh, showing the work and learning and learning how to change the limits and how to do the use substitution. I hope this video has been helpful.